My name is Morgan Heim. I'm a natural history photographer, and I've come to Colombia to explore the birds of the Andes, the Pacific, the Llanos Plains, and the Amazon. Come join me and discover why Colombia is the number one in bird species on Earth. Getting to our next destination in Choco on the Pacific coast was an adventure in itself. We had to first hop a charter flight over the Andes from Medellin, hopped in a little boat, drove for about an hour, And there I met Mamo. You can tell this guy is just a fanatic for the birds out here. He immediately greeted us, showed us around, and took us out birding. Didn't waste a second. My name is Guillermo Gomez. People call me Memo. I'm birding a lot, taking pictures, and photography is one of my favorite things to do. This environment is like where you want a touch of real, real life something authentic, nature, that's the feeling you got. The Pacific coast in Colombia spreads all over the west coast. From the sea level you find mangrove forests and tropical lowland rainforest, and then you go up in the slopes and find pre-montane and montane forests. All these different habitats get together and mix in the Pacific region to create one of the most biodiverse regions in the world. I like to see behavior. I feel like I really learn something about the bird when I get to see behaviors. And Mamo's really good for that. Like he was able to help me understand what I was seeing and also learn to predict where I needed to be in order to give myself the best chance to see those behaviors. One of the very first things that I saw coming into shore was this huge heron rookery right next to the beach. I found out from Memo that those are the yellow crowned night herons, which are pretty common here, but for me, I had never even heard of them before. We were able to photograph them cuddling and grooming with their black and yellow stripes on their heads and their feather displays. The most interesting thing about these yellow crowned night herons in the Pacific coast of Colombia is that you can see a lot of behavior in these colonies. A lot of animals are congregated and you can see males courtshiping females, adult birds feeding their young, and a lot of territorial disputes. So the next day, Mamo wanted to take me into the jungle to go look for some of the harder to find birds. So he was walking around, finding the holes in the leaves, pointing those out and telling me about some of the behaviors. We went walking in the morning and immediately we get in the place, we start to hear the winds of the golden colored and for Morgan, it was a new thing, it was jumping everywhere. It's not easy trying to get a photo of these guys. The worst enemy for the camera equipment is the rain and humidity. And out here, rain and humidity are like always at your back. They're just like, I'm gonna get you. This is literally adventure birding, where you have to hike into the jungle on pretty gnarly trails, super muddy, and work to find the images and find the birds. We saw them singing on branches, hopping around. They've taken all the leaves off and they've cleared all the ground underneath, and they just bounce back and forth between these sticks. Mannequins are this neotropical bird family that is well known because they're crazy sexual behavior. Males are strikingly dimorphic, different from female. Golden color mannequin males display in the ground. 
They jump between vertical saplings, producing super, super loud snaps with their wings. Another one of my favorite birds to photograph is also a mannequin, and that's the red cap mannequin. They're just so cute. They're, they have these red heads, black bodies, full of attitude, and they dance like there's no one watching. Flip around, and then they walk backwards super fast, flip around again, walk backwards super fast, and they look so serious the whole time that they're doing it. Red cap mannequins, they display in the sub canopy. In a horizontal perch, they make so many tiny little jumps that they look like moonwalking. I had zero expectation of getting to see this bird called the city capped puff bird. And even Nemo was like, yeah, you know, there are reports that it's been here, but He'd only seen it like three times in all of his time here. I think first you need to understand the behavior and to understand the area and to know where some birds go and where not or in what time of the year you are to try to go to the right spot. We went for a walk on the beach and he had a couple of spots where we could check and I couldn't believe it, but it was on our, our second try. He found one of these puffbirds. The Sutica puffbird is an endemic bird of Colombia that lives both in the Pacific and the Caribbean coasts. It inhabits a wide range of habitats from mangrove forests to tropical tall lowland rainforest. It's a shy bird that sits to wait for insects to pass to prey on the fly. The trogons that I got to see down here, it was totally different with the intimacy and what I got to see them doing. And these trogons are flying into what looks like a big mud ball on a tree and they're just pecking away at it. And I found out a little while later that they're actually building their nest inside that termite mound. It might be something that the animal's doing just to live, but there's something there that's very much in common with things that we experience as people in our day-to-day -day lives. It has been great to have Morgan here, to enjoy, to have time in the jungle with her. We hope that the Morgan experience brings more people who love nature, who protect the environment. Having just a few days here isn't enough time. I feel like it's just a taste, it's just a tease of like all of the amazing things that are out here. I felt so much regret that I had to leave. I'm just like, man, if I could stay one more day. So one of my dreams is the community get involved in birding. And one of the programs we are doing now, we are teaching the community about birds, how the importance and the names, the scientific names, English names and they will be able to use the knowledge of their lands or the jungle or their animals to work and this birding activity will help us to protect the jungle here. <laughs>